Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Tisha 1000. This is part two to um, my The God story time. It had just cut off on me. I was paying attention to it, but it had just cut off on me. So, um, like I said, I wasn't able to do my outro, but if you guys can subscribe to my channel, Life with Tisha 1000, make sure you cut your notification bell on and make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think of it. And make sure you um, like my videos on up and subscribe and help your girl get to 100k subscribers. So let's get right into it, you guys. A form of like, wanting to do so much or not knowing what to do so much or what the next move was that you just do you just don't do nothing at all just so you don't have to deal with those thoughts like for me like i feel like that's what i was more caught up in like this i wasn't like the sky is black i don't know what to do like and, and i feel like people who are i don't feel like people that go through depression it's like something serious so i wouldn't put that on myself if you know what i mean because i feel like depression is really something serious that people go through and like I, like depression, I, I don't really know what it is to go through it because I just don't feel like I was to that extent like where I just gave up on life. I just was really so in my head that I, I was stuck. You know what right. Me? But my mom tells me I'm depressed and after that I'm just... Alright everyone, let's go! To those dedicated to making an end. It kills me. It, 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 it kill, like that killed me. Like it really killed me. It was like a wake up call, like the press, like it like forced me. I'm like, nah, I gotta start trying to do something. That's why I had to, and that's where you could even tell like when I took breaks on YouTube. I'm and taking I notes. Throw some vids up or like I dropped the tape or like do like those are all like moments to myself to show myself that I hadn't given up on myself. And the depressed conversation from my mom just hit me so hard because it was like, like, it's like your mom never told me, my mom never told me something like that before in my life. I've always been her happy son. I'm not, I haven't always been perfect. She hasn't always been happy but with what I'm doing or what I've done, you know, but I'm her happy son. You feel me? I bring light to the room. I bring energy and she just didn't see that person. So that made me wake up call. The number two biggest wake up call for me is um, to get paid on YouTube, right? To get paid on YouTube, um, you have to make, to get paid every month, you have to make $100, right? One month, I'm waiting for you. I told y'all I was back. I was I wasn't struggling. I almost needed to get a job. Like that's how bad it was 2019. Like I almost needed to take my ass back to work and like 40 hours. But like, and my mom was trying to get me to do that. But again, I wasn't going back to work for just what I had built for myself. I wasn't doing that because I just wasn't doing that because I had already said I was never going back to that. So I just wasn't going back to that. But was my was I at a point where I needed to? Yeah, so, right? And like I told you, I'm waiting for these checks. So, based on, I, well, I got 600 uploads. Based on the work I had basically put in on YouTube, um, I had never made, at least, I had never made, missed a check. Like, you feel me? Like, even though the checks weren't, you feel me, for rats like they was the year before, you feel me? I love his hair. I love when he do his hair like that. It looks very nice on him. He, it makes him look more handsome than what he is. He already handsome even when he don't do it like that. But you know what I mean? I like it. I got a couple hundred dollars sometimes. Sometimes I got a band or two off residual. You feel me? Just residual old work I put in to keep me up while I try to do something. Boom, maybe I can go record a song. Boom, right? So now you talk about the nigga. My mom just told me I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I'm dealing with this, right? Boom, 21st comes. That's when YouTubers get paid. You feel me on the 21st of the month. 21st comes. Boom. I'm waiting all 21st, no check account. No check, I hit my account today, right? Right, so I'm like, ah, oh, maybe she's just tweaking. It's gonna come in late in the morning, go to sleep, wake up the next morning. No check, hits my account again! I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I'm fucking broke out here, right? I go, check my, check my YouTube. 
YouTube shit, right? And my YouTube shit says seventy-six dollars. Seventy-six dollars, y'all. You feel me? I don't think no YouTube has ever gotten this real with y'all ever. My shit said I made seventy-six dollars, y'all, for the month. After I just sat in the crib for a month and really just didn't know what to do. You feel me? My mom is calling me depressed, and now I'm not making no money at all. So, shit, I had to really, I had to really, you feel me, get off my ass. You feel me? In that moment, I started like, you feel me? I went back to, I went back to survival mode. You feel me? I started um, just doing, I started doing videos again. Again, it wasn't working. You know, it wasn't working. I started, I said, yo, let me come back, do my music stuff. I make a video about not wanting to be my the guy. Don't call me Patty no more. That does pretty good. So I'm like, oh, snap. Maybe people are invested in this new me. Next day, back, back to square one. You feel me? I'm trying to get people invested in my music. The music content's not working. I try to do some TikTok hacks. Great video, it's not working, you feel me? And it's just like, so, at this point in time, because of the depression and the the depressed comment from my mother and the $76 that, you feel me, I'm not getting paid this month at all. I'm just more in the mindset of like, you can't give up on yourself. You feel me? You can't give up on yourself. I actually had this moment that I went through in my life that when I was younger, when I didn't make the basketball team, and I've done a story time on it, but that was a time in my life where I gave up on myself and I allowed somebody to control my destiny for what I wanted out of life. And that is always the reminder to me to not give up on myself. So during those times, you feel me, I had figured out a way to like, you feel me, I started doing features, you feel me, I started doing other stuff. So even though YouTube necessarily wasn't working, I had figured out how to have some bread in my pocket, so I just was not, I'm not up at all, but you feel me, I'm just not broke no more, if I, I could, you feel me, I could, I could start to get, to do stuff for music, like, you feel me, I had, boom, in the midst of all of that, right, I can't really recall what we went to LA for, but right, I just know in the midst of all that time too, I finally put some money in my pocket, because of, um, Features. I did a couple features. I lowered my feature price. Did a couple features, um, and I was doing promotions on the gram. And I had put some. I had put a couple of dollars in my pocket just straight off, straight off the hustle. And um, now, after not being around the game for a while, not like me and Clarence' relationship is daily. You feel me? Playing the game, talking on the phone. We do that all the time. But like, I hadn't seen my boy in a minute. You feel me? We go to LA. Right now, it's back. We're 100 percent back in. We're doing content. I'm doing content with Beast. I'm back in my comfort zone. I'm like, oh my god, you guys don't even understand how much I miss. I got Beast content. Got a video with Lee. Doing videos with Clarence. I'm doing videos with like I'm just in a in a um environment uh where like you know like I can thrive as with my personality, with my camera, or what, and do what I want to do. So in that period of time, it was like it was like an awakening because it was like it was like yo, it was like you this whole time you were struggling or like going through what you were going through, and like it wasn't necessarily you. I realized in that moment, I realized it was more the environment and just the energy I was giving off, you know, I, I wasn't, I didn't seem as happy, I didn't, I, I wasn't, didn't seem like I was having as much fun, I wasn't, I just wasn't a, as a, happy as a person because it was so much worry, and like, when I got to that point, it's like, when I realized, like, that was the first time that I was like, wow, maybe I should have bet it all on myself a long time and moved to Atlanta and done my own thing and just been able to create my own environment and my own space, right? So, right, we go we go through that, uh, we go to LA, it's one of like the biggest, 
like awakeners for me. You feel me? I, I even barely, I even barely, people don't even know, people probably don't even know this. You feel me? Because I had made, I had made like probably, I had made a good little check off of um, being in LA, but I think we did like two, three weeks in LA. So I had made a little check because um, I think we were there. They were Queen Owens, I used to do the liquid dub of the YouTubers. You feel me? Just get content during that time. We was able to vlog more, go play ball. We was able to do, I got a one-on-one -on -one with DDG. Like, it was just a lot of content that was able um, to be created during that time. So, yeah, to get to get out of, um, to, to get to, when I went to LA that, that time last year, when you look at them videos, I risked it all. You feel me? I might have had, I might have had like, I might have had like 2,500 on me. I might have had like 2,500 on me at that time. But then you got to think, right? The flight to LA from New York. This is, this is early pandemic, maybe not even pandemic time yet, right? Um, or maybe not, right? So I'm spending like, I spent like four, I spent like 400 on that flight. So now I'm at two bands. Now you go to LA, you gotta eat, keep up Ubers. You're going here, you're buying stuff to do videos. Bang, bang, bang. Now I'm spending money, you feel me? I'm spending money going out to eat, all of that. Yo, it was like a $300 flight for me to get back to, um, to, um, New York, to get back to New York. And this is what I'm saying, God, this is what I'm saying. I, I stopped, these moments that, like, I'm telling you this story because these moments, like, just let, I, I gave up control in my life, you feel me? I'm over control in my life, and that's what I'm trying to get to. I know I'm, I might be long-winded trying to explain to you, but I've given up on control in my life, because, right, so, it's, it's, it's days ticking down, I don't have money to get out of LA, I'm not. I'm prideful at this point. I'm, I've been here living. I'm not about to tell tell my friends, even though I know Clarence. It's nothing for Clarence to tell for Clarence to um throw me some bread to get me back. He would have bought my flight to New York if I really needed it. But I'm like, nah, man. I'm not doing that. We've been out here this whole time. I've been good. Whatever. Boom. The day of, like I'm telling you, the day of that I'm supposed to go. Buy my ticket for us to leave in LA. Lee's telling me the flight. I still haven't bought a flight. They asking me, do they need me to get the flight? I'm like, nah, I got it. I get a little deal for like 600. Just enough to get me back to New York. I barely made it out. I barely made it out of LA. Nobody even knows that. But like, that period woke me up so much. Like, you know, I had to go through that. Even I went home broke, I left. I left with a little money, went home broke, made some money, had to wait till the 21st till I got paid, but I had some money on me, you feel me? Now I'm a little bit back, not like, not back to being comfortable at all, because it wasn't that much money, it was only two weeks of doing videos, but like, you feel me? I'm back to just, you know, feeling like myself. And in that, in that period in time, like, you feel me? I'm back home, I'm back not doing videos, but now I'm again. Facebook shops, connecting people with your business just got easier. You can bridge the gap between an online and moving off fear. You feel me? I'm back to like, nah, I'm not messing this up. You feel me? I got a little chicken. I'm a stash it. I tried to invest some so I could start my little uh, merch brand. So right, that comes back. We come home. I'm really just sitting up now. You feel me? I'm sitting up. I'm just waiting for like, you know, a break. You feel me? Because right now I'm still haunting for stability to to this point. Like I'm just waiting for a break. Like you know, I'm good, but I'm not stable enough. I'm still the, living with my mom. I'm still not really getting enough space to move out my mom's bed. Right? And this is what I'm saying. You gotta just you gotta just have faith in yourself. You really just have to have faith in yourself because, right? It's just look at time, you feel me? Look at time, right? 2019, right? I had to I had to adjust to being alone, right? Because my friends or like the people they're my friends for sure, like but they're not my family, like really, but like you guys I'm just trying to just so you guys can understand, but like Queen Clarence Lee, they were busy with um Everything they had going on with Legend, which completely makes sense. 
I'm not sitting here and being like, oh, they turned their back on me. Nah, because I know how your niggas push it. You feel me? They were completely right in, in their attention. I wasn't even begging for attention. It was just more of a direct family matter, and I need to create my own space and do my own thing. That's all it was. You feel me? But 2019, I go from being together all the time to being alone just simply because of life. You feel me? Life happens. And then 20, um, 19 going into 2020, uh, it basically starts with like, yo, we need to be together more. You feel me? Like, you know, and it, it's like, I know like it's, um, that's probably just a part of it that we all, that, that we, that I went through probably just a bit on my own, but it was like, I know, you feel me? Everybody went through that on their, in their own way. You feel me? Everybody went through that, that year and that time period. My boy became a dad for the first time. My queen became an aunt too. We got a new client and a nephew. You feel me? She got, you feel me? It was a lot. So it was an adjustment period for all of us, right? Um, but this is now the moral of all of that was right 20, um, 19, I'm still not giving up on myself. I'm calling Clarence every day, trying to figure out I'm doing, I'm in the crib doing girlfriend, rape girlfriend shits. They're not busting. You feel me? They're not busting. But at least I'm like, shit, I'm uploading. You feel me? At least I'm not giving up on myself. You know, no. everything's not working right no. now. But at least I'm not giving up on myself, right? Um, I get a call like, yo, bro, bro, what the fuck are you still doing in New York? Like, there's nothing for you in New York. Like, are you going to move to Atlanta? And you know me, I wear my heart on my sleeve and my troops on my sleeve. So I'm like, shit, bro, I would love to move out of New York. I'm starting to see that my environment is going to be holding me back just because I'm the only person around me that really does what I what I do and it's gonna take time to like build other people up and you know people aren't really just taking to the new characters I'm trying to put on my channel like that. So yeah so he's like yo bro why don't you just move to the A do videos with the gang and like get your get your like get yourself together make some money get yourself together move out and like once you move out you're gonna have no choice but to always always have to stay on your shit and get your shit done because um it'll just be on you i feel like right now the reason why you even are able to hibernate or take those breaks is because you know you're, you're falling back on your comfort staying with your mom's crib not spending that much money only spending money on things you are but you're not really living your life again my boy calls me out. Like, I know this video is probably a little long. My boy calls me out to Atlanta. It doesn't matter how long it is. I enjoy listening to you. Um, You see me looking up and down because I'm writing down notes and everything to keep up with my videos that I record. Because that's the way I know how to do it. But I love enjoy. I enjoy strongly uh, hearing your story and everything like that. And I look forward to seeing so many more. But I'm dealing with... All the shit I was dealing with last year. You feel me? Like, I'm mentally dealing with all the shit. So I'm like, damn. Like, you feel me? I'm staying there, but I'm like, damn. How long should I stay? Damn. I'm even, even asking this kid, like, yo, bro, should I only stay a week? Should I stay two weeks? Like, yo, how long is too long? Am I tripping? Like, you feel me? Like, we're, like, we're dealing with all of that because I'm still mentally going through like just i guess like some form of anxiety from the previous year just you know and not just the previous year just i've always dealt with it from day one like yo third wheel third this you feel me like i never was able to really establish my own identity right as you can see, moving to Atlanta was a, like from that moment i never really went back to new york i was able to go from my boy's couch to my own little house, you feel me? Like now I'm in my own little house. I'm making my own videos. Um, yeah. Um, of course I still do content with Lee Queen and Clarence, but it's not necessarily just the bulk of my content. It might, the, of course, I do what hits and what's gonna get me paid. And what I'm really working on is is really catering my channel more to the people that really. Um, want to see me grow and see what's going on with me 
But yeah, I'm one of them. Video to um. I believe in my. Basically, just. I believe in him. But he needs to believe in himself. And I'm pretty sure the whole world out here, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that believe in him. But he got to believe in himself. Because I believe that he can do whatever he put his mind to. His music is fire. Um, His content is fire. He encourages me to want to keep pushing and doing my YouTube. And I barely even started. So, you know, I really appreciate him putting out his you know story about how he felt and how he was discouraged because it helps others out there to it, it makes others feel like okay you know it wasn't just me because even though he's on the road that he's on he actually been through it too so it's normal you know what i mean because you got some people that go through this and be like is that normal for me to feel or should i feel discouraged like this yes it's normal as you see, he letting you know, like, look, I've been there. And you just got to basically believe in yourself and know what you striving for and continue on doing it and get through it. And that's basically the story. So, you know, um, yeah. You just got to believe in yourself. Believe. My way was to just believe in myself. You feel me? Believe in yourself. And other than that. Basically, I was doing everything, you know everything said? I could do to get my skin back, and nothing was working. You already know said. Let me let, let me play that back for you. Care about that y'all would say about me? That I just don't care about no more. Like I feel like I went super saiyan two on this internet shit. Like it used to be the little petty jokes used to bother me. It used to be able to I used to be able to brush those off. Those ugly joints used to be able to brush those off. Now I can brush off anything on the internet. Y'all cannot control me. Do not allow the internet control you. This shit is not real. You feel me? The life I live in real life and the life that y'all think I live on the internet is two different things. I'm having my way for all my young niggas. I'm having my way for all my young ladies out there. I'm having my way. And yeah, you feel me? Have your way. You could always have your way. I could have been having my way. I didn't even see. I didn't even see what it took for me to have my way was to just believe in myself. You feel me? Believe in yourself. And other than that, it's your boy MOD, you feel me? Last year was tough, you feel me? We ain't going back, we ain't going back. 2020, you feel me? Like, let me tell y'all my 2020 story, you feel me? 2019 was tough, top of 2020 was tough. But let me tell y'all what happened mid-year. You feel me? Mid-year, I bossed up, got off my ass, and turned into that motherfucking nigga, and I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I wouldn't be able to do nothing without y'all. All the people that really held it down and really showed me love from the beginning, I love you. I'm gonna probably have to edit this video up because it's all over the place. But um, yeah, I love you. And yeah, it's your boy Mod. And with that being God, said, sure I enjoyed. I enjoyed listening to him say that, and that encouraged me to want to keep doing what I want to do because I have a dream. I have a a, a lot that I want to conquer in life, and I have a lot that I want to do because I have a little family of mine, four kids. Two girls, two boys, and I know that I can do it. If he can do it, I know I can do it. And with that being said, the word for the day is to believe in yourself. Encourage yourself. Do not give up. Do not worry about what nobody else has to say. Do what makes you happy. Do what's going to bring you happiness. And do what's going to make you be a better you. And with that being said, y'all, you, you can subscribe to my channel, Life of Teach 1000. Like my videos, share my videos, make sure your notification bell is on so you're missing my content. And comment down below, let me know how you enjoy my reaction to his story time, to my the God story time. All love here, no hate, no negativity at all. And with that being said, y'all, we out.